It's been five years since Karl Heinert was seriously injured in a firebomb attack in Iraq. He'd only been in the army for two years, but for the next five he'd have to endure operation after operation to treat his burns. Well now Karl is through the worst and has set himself a new challenge, a marathon every weekend starting next January and lasting all year. Karl, you like a challenge then, do you? Yeah. J just take us back, though, to, to what happened in Iraq uh, on that day, exactly, when you got those injuries. Um, well, basically, we, we was called out, you know, um, we heard that two of our colleagues had been uh, captured at one of the local police stations. And uh, when we got there, it was just to, like, uh, a bit of support for, like, the, uh, the building crowd. And um, the longer we was there, the higher the tensions. And mm -hmm. then, unfortunately, I got caught up in a petrol bomb. And that's when you were attacked? Yeah. And what, what exactly happened at the time? We, we've seen pictures of that event. Um, can you remember it exactly? Yeah, well, the, the, clear, the, the crowd was just getting more, more and more, uh, you know, uh, pushing forward. It was uh, um, getting more comfortable and, uh, you know, unavoidably. And that, I got that's you there, is it? Oh, yeah. That's on fire there. Yeah. 37% burns you got, didn't you? Yeah, I remember getting out of the tank and just blacking out mm. and then waking up back on the floor again. Um, where my colleagues uh, picked me up to safety uh, to a waiting ambulance at the back. So that was it? That was the end of your career in the army, was it? Um, it, wa it wasn't the end. I was given the option to stay, but my job role was an infantryman and I'd be more of a burden mm. than a help. So um, I, uh, w uh, talking over with my superiors, um, uh, we all decided for a, a medical discharge, which I was happy with. And there began your, your long treatment. Just tell us what you went through exactly. Um, I spent a lot of time at Headley Court um, and uh, in and out of uh, Selly Oak Hospital, burn unit, getting loads of skin grafts, mm. uh, loads of reconstruction on my hands. And, and this has been your motivation really to start the marathon running, hasn't it? Just tell us a bit True. about that. Um, I set myself a goal when I was first injured to run the London Marathon, you know, just to prove to myself that nothing um, has changed. And um, I did that and I kind of, you know, enjoyed it. Mm. Um, and I carried on from there. We can see some pictures of you doing some running. Um, did you take to it really easily? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a runner. I, uh, really? You're not a runner, but you do it anyway. I do it anyway. <laughs> I, I curse myself when I do marathons. I'll but play why through do it then? Because it's I, hard, I suppose. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I enjoy. I enjoy it a bit. The, the feeling after you've finished, you know, the exhilaration. Yeah. And so it's going to be every single weekend. Every every weekend. How the heck are you uh, going to recover in uh, between the marathons? I have no idea. Ice baths and a little bit of whiskey, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of, I mean, have you chosen all your locations, or, or how will that work? Um, because the more official marathons, I've had mm. to wait for like official dates to be released. Mm. So I've been like looking all over the world. Uh, see where them held up, and I've been fitting them all in place. And the money will all go to the to, to the charity, the uh, Burns unit that treated you, won't it? Yeah, in the Queen's Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham. All the best, you Carl. Good luck. Thank Let you us know how you get on, won't you? Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming in.